What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a logo 100% free. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you two different websites. Now, one is 100% free, and the second one is actually a paid one, but there's going to be a reason I'm showing you that, and I will explain that in the video. Now, if you want to find out how to make an intro for free with no software, then head over to the description and check out my previous video where I showed you exactly how to do that. And as always, if there's any tutorials that you guys want to see, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get them done for you as soon as I can. So here we are on a website known as Hatchful. So it is all online and it's just using this website. All you need to do is select get started. From here, you're going to choose your business genre. So you can pick anything from here. If the business you are running is not here, then simply select the bottom one, which says none of the above. Now for me, I'm just going to make sure it's selected on tech and I'm going to select next. From here, you can choose your visual style. So there's a bunch of different ones to choose from here. And again, if you don't like any of them, none of the above. Just gives you more control of the creative if you put none of the above, because then you can customize it yourself. Now with me, I'm going to select modern and I'm going to select next. Then from here, you just type in the business name and if you have a slogan. And there's my new slogan and I'm going to select next. From here, you can choose where the logo will be. And it is completely optional if you want to tick any of these. Most likely it's going to be online store or website and also the social media. So you can tick multiple ones here. From there, you can select next. Then once you've got to this stage, you can see we made the logos for you. Choose one to start editing. You can pick a different logo anytime. So as you can see, for example, just this first one, it's given this, this shape. It's given the title or well, the main name and is also given the slogan. Now bear in mind, these are just samples. It's not ones you definitely have to pick. These are ones you can pick and then adjust yourself. So you do get control of that element as well. Now me personally, I do like very, very simple designs. So for example, like here, this one, we did pick tech. This has a laptop and it has casual savage next to it. It's very basic, but that's what I like. Of course, you may have different opinion, but that's just you. Um, you can see the business name is there. This template does not support slogans. So there is a downside to this and some of the other ones. However, you can then select fonts and you can actually customize the font, which is here. So if you select all fonts here, you can narrow it down to see different types of fonts. Now I do want it to be modern. So I'm gonna select modern and you can see this more of a thin one here and more of a curled one here. So I like that. You can then go ahead and select colors. So if there's specific color code for your logo or your business, then you can change it right from here. Again, you can narrow it down from all colors to different types of colors you can pick from. I'm gonna keep it on all colors and I'm just gonna pick through a color which I think would look a lot better. Now bear in mind, there are a ton to choose from. You just need to let it load a bit. So you can see now we have a lot more options to pick from. So I've let mine load up a bit and now we can go ahead and select what we think will look good. So I like this one here. Uh, red and black looks pretty nice. Of course, it's got the fake Apple logo. Oh, well, we then have icons. So of course, the icon is referring to this one right here, which we already have. You can go ahead and add your own icons if you wish to. You can again narrow it down to subcategories. So you can choose different types of um, icons. So for example, we're doing tech. So we can find a tech one. And let's just see what we can find here. So for example, if you're a coder, you can just select this one, as you can see, HTML code, and then we have the name right next to it. Super simple, just left click it, it changes like that. You're a mobile repair company, just like that. You're an online store, but you can have just like that, or even, let's see, you're a videographer, and you can just click that. Super simple, and it's super easy to just simply adjust the logo next to it. Final thing is the layout. Again, this is where you get control of how this will look. So again, like I said, I like basic. So you can see it's very, very basic here. Top line, bottom line, this little logo and the text. You may or may not like it. That's just your opinion. This is what I like. Once I'm all done, all I'm going to do is select next. And as you can see, you're now all good to go. So as you can see here, it just tells you where you're able to upload this icon to. Just like download the logo. You will need to create an account. Don't worry, it is 100% free as I will show you right now. I'm going to select sign up. As you can see, we've now signed up. Hold on, generating logos. It's going to completely download and they have been sent to my email. So I'm going to head over to my email. Okay, so here we are on my emails and at the top, you can see in the update section of Gmail, we have Hatchful. So this is the logo we have just created using the website Hatchful. And my laptop is running completely slow, but I will go ahead and open that up for you now. 
as you can see once open it up your files are all ready you can download them as a zip so we're just going to left click that and open it up as you can see we then can select ok to save it and here is the downloaded file i'm going to right click it and i'm going to select extract here and these are all the logos so what it's done is actually created the logo into transparent it's created the logo as it is for linkedin instagram a favicon for those that don't know what a favicon is let me just show you quickly so a favicon is like this icon up here at the top left so you can see it's got the little envelope here for gmail so that's a favicon they've created that for you they've got a facebook image as the logo they've got a facebook cover photo they've got a facebook banner pin interest twitter and also youtube so you are literally covered all the way around from this simple website you can see it's created a bunch of different logos for you or a bunch of logos in the exact same style just for different social media so that saves you a lot of time now bear in mind i did say i was going to show you two so i'm going to be showing you the second website now which is paid however i will explain why i'm showing it to you so this is the second website right here which is known as place it so all you need to do again is type in the brand now now the reason i'm showing you this website even though it is paid is because it comes with a different or a more variety of logos to pick from with that being said you can then go ahead design pick a design you like hire someone on fiverr for five dollars and actually recreate it so i've gone for real estate and i'm going to be changing the uh, colors to black and yellow to actually match my logo here and this it will now all load up once it is ready so here we go these are now loaded up and like i said you can see it becomes more of a variety of logos to pick from so these different type of styles you can use or the ones that you want of course if you want to go ahead and purchase through the website you can however the prices are a bit more than fiverr for example i'm going to pick this one over here and as you can see at the top left, you can see it is actually $40 or $20 to buy. So it's $20 with a subscription or it's $40 to just buy outright for a one-time use. However, once you click on the logo, you then get a bit more control of the logo itself. So over to the side, it is still loading. Over to the side, you can see the text Casual Savage. We can choose the type of font we want right here. We can then choose the type of color we want. And we can also choose Home here. So Home is this big writing here. Again, we can change the font. We can also then come here, we can change the color. Now this is just gonna be a complete mess. I'm just gonna show you an example. We then have real estate at the bottom. Again, we can change this font to whatever we would like to. For example, I'm gonna pick that. And I'm gonna pick a very, very faint gray. Now, over to the side, on the right side, you can choose the graphics color. So of course, stick with your color scheme. I've somehow changed to blue, so we'll change that to blue. You can also then choose different types of logos you would want to go with instead of the one that's currently there for example like this and then at the bottom here you can change the line underneath real or above real estate so for example you can put some dots if you want to have it a bit more simplistic like that so once you're happy with the design you've done like i said if you prefer it from here you don't really want to pay 20 dollars. you don't really want to pay 40 dollars. head over to fiverr.com and simply hire someone for five dollars to recreate your logo that is how simple it will be and that is very very inexpensive that's it for this video hopefully you have find it useful and hopefully you do make use of it if there's any other websites that you recommend to use definitely leave them in the comments because of course it will help others out as well and as always any other tutorials you want to see just let me know in the comments